Hey guys, welcome to the show. Jack Scalfani here. If you haven't watched the show, we do shows that are basically easy cooking, delicious cooking. We love um, all recipes. We do meat smoking, barbecuing. We do a ton of stuff. It's awesome. We do playing with your food episodes. Uh, this one here is a uh, is gonna be interesting. This is a video that I've been excited for all week. Okay, you know the keto cheeseburger casserole that I uploaded. That was an exciting video because it came out so good. This is one I hope, I hope, I hope it comes out good. Because if it comes out good, I'm making this like, like weekly, okay? So before I get started, let me tell you about our sponsor. It's Profile by Sanford. And they've been very good to me. They've helped me lose weight. I've already dropped 14 pounds in two weeks. So, um, you know, it's uh, they're teaching me how to eat better and eat less. It, it's so simple, it's crazy, but the best thing about the program is I have a personal counselor. I meet with her every week. My wife Tammy's doing great too. She meets with, uh, we both meet with her and we go to their offices. Uh, they got one here where I live in Hendersonville. They got them all across the US. So just look up your local uh, profile by Sanford location. Talk to your counselor about a program and get healthy. That's all I can tell you, man. I'm feeling great. I uh, can't wait till it's all done to where I reach my goal and I learn to eat better and I learn to do all that better and, and drinking water. I got water coming out of my eyes. I got water coming out of my ears. Oh, I drink so much water per day. Oh my goodness. You have no idea. Anyway, let's bring you in close because I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm very excited about this recipe. It looks delicious. It really does. So come on up. Okay, one of the goals when you're trying to lose weight and you're eating less and all that is when you do get hungry, you want a snack that you can snack on and it's still healthy. It's totally okay. Well, vegetables on this diet, I mean, you can have a ton of vegetables on this diet. And if you're hungry, eat more cucumbers, eat more bell peppers, eat more celery, all that stuff. So this is called... These are jicama sticks. They cut them, they peel them, they cut them, and they're in big, long sticks, okay? And then here's all the seasonings we're gonna be using. So we're gonna chop these into, hopefully, French fries size pizza, pizzas. Did I say pizzas? I meant pieces. French fry size pieces. And then we're gonna roast them. They'll kind of get dried out. They'll have a lot of seasoning. They'll be salty and wonderful. And I hope it works out. These are called jicama french fries. We're going to be using chili powder. We're going to be using smoked paprika. You can use regular paprika if you want. We got garlic and onion granulated. We got salt, pepper, and parsley. All right, so the first step is take, take these out of the water, get a cutting board, and cut them up into matchstick sizes, okay? So go ahead and do that with each and every piece, all right? And then you want to pat dry these with a towel. So let me get them cut first, then we'll talk about pat drying them. The utensils you're going to need is going to be a cookie sheet and a rack that you can put all your uh, fry. I'm going to call them fries, even though they're not fries. Put all your fries on, um, on the rack. Okay, before you start putting them on the rack, you got them all up here. I got them wrapped in a paper towel. Now I'm going to put together my seasoning. I'm going to toss them in seasoning, then lay them on the rack, okay? So let's move this so we can work on our seasoning. But I'm just going to eyeball it, okay? Take a little pepper. I don't know how good you guys are with seasoning, but I can pretty much feel when it's going to be good or not. A little salt. A little extra salt just because we want them to dry out faster at the time. Then we'll take a little, uh, I believe this is smoked paprika, right? Yep. A little smoked paprika in there. There we go. I love the smell of smoke. If you've never had smoked paprika, it's way better than regular. Okay, then we're doing some chili powder. Don't be afraid of the chili powder. 
you should know whether you have really hot or mild or what. Okay. And let's, this is the garlic. There we go. This is the onion. And here is the parsley. This has no flavor. Italian parsley has a little bit of flavor, but regular parsley doesn't. I do about two pinches. There we go. Now, if you washed your hands, you can just mix this by hand if you want. Or you can get a fork. I'm just mixing it all by hand. Look how beautiful that looks. See that? Got so many flavors in there. It's gonna be awesome. Mixing bowl. Take all your, I didn't do all of them. I only did about half the container, okay? Just make like french fry size pieces and take all, all of your cut up pieces and put them in a bowl. There we go. Got a whole bunch cut up in the bowl. I don't know if I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have too much seasoning, so. I'm gonna kind of eyeball the seasoning too. Okay, so these are normally moist. So you're probably gonna to wanna to throw a little bit of oil in here so that the seasoning will stick. Just to help it along, just in case it doesn't stick. Just put a little olive oil in. There we go. Get that in there. Now we can apply our seasoning. Okay, gonna get your hand dirty again. Use a food glove if you want. seasoning if you feel like you need some. I feel like a lot of the seasoning is just going to fall off. I can't even begin to explain to you how excited I am about these. If they come out great, this is going to be an awesome recipe. If not, it's just going to be okay. So I'll take each and every, every french fry and separate it. They look amazing. Lay them all out like that. All right, this recommends 400 degrees, 40 minutes. If you have the patience, grab little like silicone tongs and rotate your fries, but I'm not sure I'm gonna need to being on this rack. So let's get this in the oven. All right, guys, they look beautiful. They feel beautiful. Haven't tried them yet. But look how gorgeous. We got blue cheese here you can have on my eating plan. You got sugar-free barbecue sauce. You can use sugar-free ketchup. You can use uh, another brand that you like, as long as you're not di dipping in a bunch of sugar, okay? So let's give this a try. So I got a bunch of extra seasoning in my bowl here. I could rub that on chicken, steak, it's garlic. You saw all the ingredients. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful blend. So let's give this a try. I'm gonna try this one right here. Let's try it with the blue cheese first. Mm -hmm. A little crunchy. Let's try it with um, just with nothing. Hmm. The only difference is it's a little bit crunchier than French fries, but the flavor is there. Hmm. They came out really good. Feel free to broil, bake, fry in a in a dry pan, little nonstick. Mmm. This is very satisfying. I'm gonna snack on these. I love you guys, and I hope to keep losing weight. Alright? Take care. Bye-bye.